Welcome, well, Zoe. <laughs> Thank you for coming so so far away from Cornwall. Yes. And then congratulations on reaching the final ten of the Face of USN campaign. Did you know that you were down to the final ten? Um, I remember getting the actual tag um, in the in the post on Instagram when I was getting my tan for my show mm. in October. And I was like, oh my god, there's so much going on right now, this is crazy. Mm. Like, screenshotted to all everyone I knew. <laughs> Tell me a bit about yourself from the beginning. So, what, from the beginning? Yeah, from the beginning, Vinny, growing up. Let's start okay, from growing um, up school. What inspired you? Let's keep. keep so, it. I grew up, um, I was always into some sort of fitness. Um, started off as a long distance running. I took a lot of inspiration from Kelly Holmes. Yeah. Loved her. Um, she even came to my school and did like a speech. I was just like mesmerised by her. Um, and then as I reached around 16, I think I went to a bit of athletics. As my body was developing, I was ch my body I was changing. So um, long distance running was like, I just wasn't able to do it anymore. Mm. Went into athletics. Um, then went into team sports, went into football. Um, I enjoyed it, but I couldn't quite get the same sort of buzz from it as like an individual sport. And it was around 2012 when I first started um, getting more serious about the mm. gym. And I was um, diagnosed with uh, ulcerative colitis, a form of inflammatory bowel disease. Okay. Um, I suffered with it for quite a while, um, but as a typical teenager, I kind of, I didn't, really talk about it. Mm. Was it, why didn't you talk about it? Was it um, like you didn't understand it or was it uh, uh, embarrassed by it? I think was it, it was a bit of embarrassment as well because I just started university mm. um, and I would started with like a new group of friends. Um, I didn't really want to like say some of really bad stomach aches, you know, mm. going in and out of lectures all the time, losing like a lot of weight and not like knowing why. Oh. Um, it wasn't until I got really poorly that I went to my doctor um, mm. and so they were really good. They sent me straight to the hospital, mm. had all the procedures done. Um, but unlucky for me, four weeks after that I fell really poorly. Mm. Um, I spent a good, I think it was about a month in hospital, um, basically battling for my life. Mm. Um, because it's, it's not really, like, that, like that part of my journey I mm. find really like hard to talk about. Yeah, but, I think, but I, think it, I think it's really important you do talk mm. about it because, yeah. and, and, and I'm going to push you on it and yeah. I'm not going to apologise for no, that. I'm and and I've, while I've sat here, I've, I've heard some stories yeah. and I think it's really important that we get to see this side yeah. of you. Um, you know, because it's moulded you to who you are now and it shows you the strong woman that you are and what can be achieved and you're not lying down no and this is why i want to talk to you about it yeah so i mean when you were going through through that what what were, what, what were you thinking were you thinking right well, i can't carry on or was it i don't know how i'm going to carry on what, what type of so many thoughts are going through my head and i just remember um because i never like i never met anyone with Crohn's or colitis before mm. i never knew what like the illness would even entail and I don't think many people no, do, right? No, because no one speaks about it. Mm. So when they um, they said basically like, you know, it's getting really severe inside mm. now, we're going to have to think about an operation. Yeah. And I thought, okay, it's just an operation, remove part of my large intestine and I'll be okay. Um, and then they introduced me to some stoma nurses and that's um, who deal with like the ostomy bags and the right, appliance okay. that I wear. And I, was mm. just, I looked at it and was just like, Instantly, from the leaflets that I saw yeah. and the colour of it, I was like, that's for old people. Yeah. Because all the leaflets were just like quite old, older people, no young people. Um, that's interesting, right? That yeah. must have scared you as well. It really, like I just, I turned to my mum, my mum was very, like really, she's very emotional like me, mm. but she like switched into some sort of like superwoman that yeah. day. And was just, ah, oh, just So incredible. she's your greatest inspiration, yeah. I'd imagine. That day, she just literally was like my rock. Mm. because I didn't know what I was going to do and um, luckily for me I managed to get out of hospital without an ostomy that time mm. um, and it made me more determined to go back to the gym and just use it as my sort of outlook, use it as my sort of therapy, it was my place mm. to go to every single day, my own little bubble um, and I just every time that I had a setback with my illness I would never let it pull me down um, I, would, I would use that fuel as my drive and my motivation throughout, throughout the two years before my surgery. Um, it was tough, 
really tough. It was a real challenge. Um, and I can sit here all day and say I wish I'd done it sooner, but I think I needed that that journey before the surgery mm. to really appreciate. And everything's in hindsight, right? And I think it's very dangerous to look back and say, I should have. You yeah. can't change that, you, yeah. you know? Yeah. So you never look back. And... I don't think I would be the same person as I am right now if I had the surgery when I first mm. had that sort of, that scare. Mm that um, you know you're gonna have to have the surgery because it was very it was a very tough time to come out of for me uh, mm. mentally. And do you share that story through your social media? Do you yeah. go down that route? Yeah, I um I did a little documentary called The Inside Out. I don't know if you've watched it. It's on my I've heard channel. of it, but I haven't watched it. Yeah, and I'll it, make sure that I search for it now. It's um just explaining my journey, mm. um, showing awareness mm. about the illness. And do you feel really passionate about that? Is that how you want to...? Um, I want to show it in doing what I do. To show people that the impossible is possible mm. through... If you have self-belief mm. and you have that determination, you, you, you can achieve anything you want to. So can I, can I be personal with some of the questions? Because I really yeah. want to understand yeah. what, what you actually go through. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you talk about the, the operations and things. Um, do you still, so do you have to carry a background with you or yep. Yep, still yep. there? So what does it, when you compete, and it's really, sorry, it's yeah, my no, ignorance. It's when you different. compete, how do you deal with that when you compete? Going on stage, mm. it was so frightening the first time. It was, oh, it was, I don't know. Getting, the thought of getting up in a bikini on stage in front of 100 people <laughs> is yeah. horrible in itself, like Admirable. to think about it. But um, I was just, it was actually after my surgery, um, I turned to my partner and said, you didn't even think I was crazy. I was like, I'm gonna step on stage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mm. do it. I'm gonna go in for a body transformation category and I'm just gonna prove to myself that I can do it. Because I think this was, based, this was my biggest fear. Having the ostomy bag was my biggest fear. So if I can overcome that, I can overcome anything I put my mind to. Mm. So, well, you're combining the two there, right? Yeah. So I just, I just jumped on and went up. And you know what? Someone said to me straight after I come off stage, do my routine, and they looked at me and like, "Did you have that on on stage?" I was like, "Yeah." And they were like, "I didn't even, didn't didn't even notice that. it." And that really, like, it made me emotional. It mm. made me overwhelmed. The fact that someone saw past that and just looked at my hard work and dedication and for the love of bodybuilding. And, and, and fair play to you. Honestly, the strength that you have, I mean, I'm sitting here and I'm like, well, all my problems can get, can get swept under the carpet there. Um, so let's talk about, let's go back to very the nutrition. We have to link it to USN. I mean, mm -hmm. do you, how, how does your body deal with the sports nutrition side of things? Fine. Is it, Don't have is any it useful? Issues. Yeah, um, I, I find if I eat a lot of meat, um, I do get a little bit bummed up and I'm a little bit sore, so I use whey protein. Whey protein. Um, do you creatine the... supplement? Are you allowed to do I don't, do, I don't actually. Um, creatine gives me headaches sometimes. Okay. BCAs, definitely yeah. use BCAs, um, glutamine. And what products stuff. do you use for that? Do you use that products? I use uh, your BCAs, PowerPoint. Yeah, the PowerPoint. The water good one. Good yeah. yeah, it's the best one. <laughs> Although the, you need to try the um, the black, it's raspberry, the blue raspberry. Sure, I think I'm just stuck really around Really good, way. yeah, no, the blue raspberry. You know, like, I was watermelon, blue raspberry all day long. We need to get on. Okay. We need to we need to get a sample of that if we can. Um, You're always you out. afraid I'll of, you out there. of like having some massive like thing through come to the door. Yeah. Like oh, I don't know if I like that or not. Mm. Like some crazy ass flavour. Do you use any? Do you use our whey protein as well, or is it someone else's? Do you use? I don't. Well, no, right I now? don't at the moment. No, I use that because I I work with someone that does. Um, you get me cheap. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's fine. We'll sort that out as yeah. well. Um, you know, it's uh, sorry. I'm throwing. I'm throwing <laughs> lots of stuff. Better <laughs> cut that one up. <laughs> Um, no, and, and the, the reason why I ask is because obviously yeah. you're going to be the face of USA, yeah. right? Um, and it's going to be a stupid question, but I've got to ask well, you, know, why, yeah, why yeah, do you yeah. want to be the face of USA? I feel like our ethos is like mix, so you also like challenge yourself. Mm. And ever since I, well, felt ill. So all you've ever done, this, right? Yeah, <laughs> all I ever do is challenge myself and I want to show people that with self-belief and you know as, as cliche as it sounds but you can you can do everything you want to do in life well you've proven it 
Uh, honestly, you've proven not there, that. not there yet. I've got more things. I, to I do. think you've surpassed it. More to be honest, to I think you've more than surpassed it. And whatever you do now is 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 a massive bonus. Where do you see yourself in the future? Um, what is your main goal? I have quite a few goals, but um, in 2018, so next year, mm. I really want to do half a marathon, um, possibly a marathon as well. Um, to break the whole stigma around bodybuilding and running and stuff like that. Woman from my own heart, right? And then um, I want to try a little bit of CrossFit, you know, no, maybe, maybe a... What? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> not Joking into, CrossFit. Not into that then, yeah. <laughs> no, I just, I feel like I need to... Um, That's not me, bro. I need to go back to really challenging myself, like challenging my body physically. Yeah. Not just in the gym. Yeah. I will still always have an element of the gym in there. Mm. Um, but I want to... I want to go out and see what I can do. See what this body's made to do, you know? Good Give for it a go. you. Good I'm for a bit you. of powerlifting as well while I'm there. <laughs> Good Throw for that you. in the mix. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to ask you about, um, well, I was going to ask about like your most embarrassing moment in the gym. Oh yeah, I have one. Go on then, go for it. <sighs> oh no, I don't know if I'll tell anyone. Well, I'll ask you that now. Okay, this is when I first started lifting, so right, don't okay. judge, don't judge, okay? <laughs> On the sniff rack with the plates, with clips and a pad. No. I know. <laughs> no. And there was of, photographic of evidence of this as well. <laughs> really? Mm. I don't know why I put clips on it. It's not going anywhere, <laughs> but I put clips on it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that was, yeah, that was pretty embarrassing for me. Well, you could have been worse. You could have been doing bicep curls with the clips on, on a sniff machine, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah. You could have been. It was still quite an embarrassing moment. Yeah. Oh, bless you. <laughs> um, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I'm pretty much there with the questions, really. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, you, you've inspired me, and I think you will certainly inspire. Thank you. That, and I, and I really do. I think it's really important you speak about those things because it normalises it, mm. and it, you know, and I think that's your calling yeah. now is really to really yeah. show men and women. Yeah. that are going through the same thing, that it's not the end of the world. Because I can imagine at some point that would have gone yeah. through, through the head. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes even I have my bad day still, and I'm like, oh, I would look so much better without it. But I think you can be forgiven. Just still I think about. you can be forgiven for having your bad days, yeah. honestly. I'm honest about them as well. Mm. I, will, I will share that I have on a bad day. And because- It's important. Yeah, we're all human. Mm. You know, we all, we all have these flaws. We all have imperfections. So, you know, it's not everything's perfect. And that's partly why I wanted to be involved with the fitness industry. It's a very image orientated industry. Yeah. So I'm chucking myself into the mix. <laughs> giving it a balance, you're giving it a balance. And I think it's really it's important you continue to do that. And honestly, thank you ever so much though, for sharing that story. I know it's been emotional. Yeah. And I'm not going to apologize no, it's for that. Fine. <laughs> I think it's really important that we, we understand. Yeah. And I think it's important that everybody out there yeah. understands. So thank you very thank much. You. And congratulations for getting Cheers. this far. And really good luck for the rest of the competition. Well, it's, yeah. it's over now, pretty no. much, isn't it? So, <laughs> Pretty cool. I'm just happy to get this far. You well, well done. You deserve to get this far. Thank you. So, thank you very much.